Hello! So Unreal Engine version 5.4 has been out for around two weeks and it comes with loads of new exciting features and improvements. In this video, I wanted to go over my top favorite features that Unreal Engine 5.4 has added to the engine. Okay, first up, we got one click auto retargeting. They added this new feature, which allows you to easily retarget bipedal characters effortlessly. With just one click, you can click a button and retarget animation from Mixamo or your other Unreal Engine characters directly onto the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin or the other way around. I remember previously there are a couple of ways to retarget animations from Mixamo and from other places. I used to use this tool called the Mixamo Converter. I even made a whole video about it and that allowed you to basically transfer animations from Mixamo to Unreal Engine with very good quality. Although the problem with that was you would have to install an external application and it would still be kind of long. With this, you can just click one button and retarget your animations. And like I said, this doesn't just work with Mixmo characters. This works with any bipedal character. Because before, if you wanted to retarget characters, you'd have to use Unreal Engine's IK retarget system and it was easy to mess things up and end up with abominations. So I'm super happy they added this feature. I actually made a whole video where I go over this one-click auto-retargeting system. It's literally two minutes long and in it, you'll learn how to use this system. Check it out if you're interested. I'll put it somewhere on the screen now. Next up, we have the modular control rig. This is a new system that simplifies the process of rigging and animating characters. Pre-made rigs can easily be added to characters, which eliminates the need for extensive programming knowledge. Before, if you wanted to create a control rig, it was quite technical. This makes it a lot easier. And with control rigs, you can easily animate characters in Unreal Engine. I made a whole video where I go over how to set up the new modular control rig if you're interested in checking that out. I'll put it somewhere on the screen now. This is kind of a small one, although Unreal Engine's timeline based animation tool, the sequencer, has also received improvements. The updated interface enhances readability and usability, making it easier for animators to create and edit cinematic sequences. With streamlined workflows and intuitive controls, animators can bring their characters to life with greater efficiency and precision. And Unreal Engine 5.4 introduces new animation compression techniques that reduce memory usage and improve performance. This means that characters can have more complex and detailed animation without sacrificing runtime efficiency. And they have this new thing with the animation called layered control rigs, which basically allows you to add control rigs on top of an animation, which makes it a lot easier to edit and basically play around with animations in Unreal. I also did see this um, other tool called this ground aligner tool, which basically makes it so when you're animating a character using the sequencer on Unreal Engine, they automatically adapt to whatever service they're on. I tried to find this in the normal version of Unreal Engine 5.4, as it said it was there, although I couldn't. Although when I went to the sample content folder in Unreal Engine, they did have a project which had this ground alignment. So I think this should be an update which comes to the main version of Unreal Engine 5.4. We will see, but this is a super cool tool because it means when you're animating, your character will basically automatically stay on whatever um, surface the ground is on. Next up, we have motion matching. So Unreal Engine 5.4, introduced this new technology. Instead of using the traditional state machines and blend spaces, motion matching will utilize a motion database to dynamically select the best animation frame based on the character's context and predicted location. This results in seamless transitions and realistic traversal without the need for manual animation work. By simply adding varied animations to your motion database, developers can have dynamic, highly polished character performances. Motion matching is simple and scales nicely. Animators will no longer have to spend countless hours crafting intricate state machines or blending between different animations. Instead, they can focus on creating a diverse range of motions that capture what they want the character to do. The engine will take care of the rest. And Unreal Engine is set to release a free motion matching project which contains over 500 AAA quality animations next month. When that project releases, we'll, we'll be able to see exactly how they set up motion matching. Although, if you can't wait till then, I did make a tutorial where I go over motion matching inside of Unreal Engine, and you can download that project for free, although it only uses eight different animations. The technology opens a new possibility for how characters are going to be animated in games. And of course, there are also many other features which were released in Unreal Engine version 5.4, although those are personally what I think were the biggest and my favorite changes. Although let me know, do you think I missed one? That's all for this video. 
And if you want to learn how to create full games inside of Unreal Engine, like a 2D platformer, an FPS game, and even more, make sure to check out my website, Unreal University. There'll be a link to it in the description of the video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.